Hey friends, this is Sheetal here. Today I'm going to air my views on the topic why today's youth is not grateful to their parents anymore. According to me, it's basically or the most significant reason behind it is the communication gap that is getting broadened day by day. So I don't think that it is going to come to an end overnight. Things will take time. The today's youth is getting attracted towards the Western culture, but the Indian parents do not know how to deal with such kids, such youth. So it becomes a huge issue to cope with. The schools are already working on changing their teaching methods, but the parents are still busy learning. They, they need to uh, learn to deal with such kids, or they need to nurture their kids properly. They send their kids to such modern schools with very good infrastructure, with very brilliant teachers. They somewhat teach their students the Western culture, actually. Like, they, um, they are motivating uh, their students to uh, be creative. But how, do, how did the Indian parents uh, were treated in their schools? <laughs> actually, they were beaten <laughs> black and blue. But this is now how the things are in the present scenario. Another thing is that uh, the shift of the language. Like, uh, our native language is Hindi, but, the student, but most of the people are eager to learn English because in India, English is replacing completely the Hindi language. So yeah, this is also the, one of the most uh, basic reasons why the youth is getting attracted towards the Western culture. Because they are actually compelled to. Some, some people enjoy it, but yeah, the, the circumstances are like that in India that you have to uh, learn to speak in English if you want to survive, if you want to earn enough for your living. Indian parents need to be trained. They need to be trained in order to uh, nurture their kids properly, in order to inculcate uh, various good manners in their children. They do not teach them the basic moral ethics. And when they grow up, then they become rebellious because they feel like they are not treated well. India needs, to, needs a transformation, basically. And uh, the parents need to understand their kids. And the kids also, they, they need to learn things, how to deal with their parents. But it's actually, the youth is targeted in various ways. Like, today's youth is out of control. They're going rebellious. They're not good. Why? Because their upbringing was not good, actually. Like, if I take my example, then I feel like the environment that my school provided me was completely different from the environment at my home. So I couldn't cope up with these changes and I was like, I was overstressed how to deal with these circumstances, how to deal with my parents, how to deal with my teachers. But yeah, of course, teachers were friendly, they were easy to deal with, they were very, you know, warm and they were very open to new ideas. But my parents were rigid to the old ideas. They denied completely to change themselves. But I was, as a child, I was like, I was learning from the environment and I spent most of the time in my school or alone in my room. I, I stopped interacting with them at all because I, I just couldn't deal with them anymore. So this is the thing that is happening not only to me but most of the Indian youth. Most of you will be agree with me, I know. Um, this is not something new I'm talking about. Everybody is aware of it. In earlier times, people like Shravan used to be there. The, they used to be joint families. But what is happening today? Today the youth want to live separately. They want to take decisions. But how they are nurtured? They are not given any sort of responsibility in their childhood. But when they face so many responsibilities in their youth, they, they get overwhelmed, they get overstressed, they get disturbed, mentally disturbed completely. And most of the youth end up committing suicide. That's also becoming a huge issue these days. So, what's my opinion is that government needs to take some steps to uh, train the parents, to uh, teach them the proper upbringing methods. I think that's the need of the hour.
and today the people like shravan do not exist at all cuz in those times uh, the children were nurtured in the lap of nature but today in the lap of technology it's just that the youth is targeted in various aspects because the youth is helpless it's unemployed so they are not independent so they are targeted in every way the youth is not good but adulthood it ha- it comes up with its own problems childhood comes up with its own problems and the old age has its new issues but the youth is like is the middle stage <laughs> so adults also target them old age people also target them so everybody targets the youth but they do not think that it's actually their responsibility to treat them well it's just the basic funda that give respect take respect if you respect youth if you treat the youth well then of course youth is going to treat you well youth is going to be grateful to you if only you make them feel better not like you will continue scolding at them rebuking them insulting them and they'll respect you no that's not going to happen at all are you agree with me youth <laughs> i think yes i hope this video was good and you liked my opinions you liked my views on this topic and if there is something that i left out then please let me know huh thank you stay safe stay healthy